Okay, in this question here, we are doing a general solution for this equation here. And we're going to compare our answers to the following four students. I guess there are two that are correct, so we can find out those. So, first thing I'm going to do is divide both sides of this equation by 10 because I want to get my cosine by itself. So do that, and I get co squared is equal to 5 over 10, which in lowest terms is 1 over 2. Then I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and then perhaps the most important part of this question is remembering it's plus or minus. So it's going to be plus or minus the square root of 1 over the square root of 2. I'm just going to rationalize my denominator by multiplying top and bottom by root 2. So 1 times root 2 over root 2 times root 2 is 2. So you can see why the plus or minus is important because it looks like there is going to be four solutions, positive and negative. Cosine is positive in two quadrants and negative in two quadrants. So if we look at this here, I want to look at what points on the unit circle is cos root 2 over 2. I recognize that to be 45 degrees or pi over 4. So here is where it's positive, and it's also positive in quadrant number 4, in which it would be double 1 less. So double 4 is 8, 1 less is 7. So that's where it is positive. But since plus or minus, we also have a solution in quadrant number 2, where the numerator is 1 less. So 1 less than 4 is 3. And in quadrant number three, where the numerator is one more, so one more than four is five. So those are all of my solutions, but I want to state them in general solution. So the first one, uh, Sandy, let's look at her. She says pi over four plus pi n. So that would give us the pi over four, but if we add pi, it would give us the five pi over four. It would forget about where, um, it would forget about the three pi over four and the seven pi over four. So Sandy is not correct. Let's look at Noah. Noah is saying pi over four plus multiples of pi over two. So pi over four plus a pi over two would take us to three pi over four plus a pi over two would take us here and then here. So this one would be correct. So basically what it's doing is taking pi over four and adding pi over two, which is 90 degrees to get to this one and then to this one and then to this one. So that is correct. Let's look at the next one. Luke says pi over four plus two pi n and seven pi over four plus two pi n. So Luke is only getting the pi over four and the seven pi over four, forgetting about three and five. So Luke is not correct. So let's hope, fingers crossed, Jane is correct. Jane says pi over four plus pi n. So she's going to get pi over four and add on pi and she's gonna get here. And then she says 3 pi over 4, which is here, adding on a pi n, which will take us here. So Jane is also correct. I like Noah's solution the best because it combines it all into one nice little restriction. But Jane is also correct. So Noah and Jane are correct, which makes D your correct answer.